our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of the chair of St. Peter. We, we pray in a special way for our Holy Father, Francis, the successor of St. Peter, the Vicar of Christ here on earth. And to all the church leaders, be it ordained or lay, to all of us, leading each other near the heart of the Lord, that we may, in one way or another, grow in our authority, live with it through charity and through humility. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries let us call to mind our sins and shortcomings, and we beg the good Lord for His mercy and pardon. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise, praise you. you. We bless, we bless you. you, we adore, we adore you. you, we glorify you, we, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Son. Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, of God Son, Son of the Father, Father. you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempests may disturb us, for you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint, but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven.
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Last Monday, I had the privilege of leading around 60 young students of St. Paul University, Quezon City, for their leadership training. And they asked me to share about Christian or Catholic leadership as how I experienced it as a priest and even before during my uh, our seminary days. And uh, one of the things that I shared with them were these points. First is leadership is God's gift. And if we wish to succeed in leadership, then learn humility and gentleness. Today, my dear friends, we celebrate the Feast of the Chair of St. Peter. The symbolism of a chair is widespread from then until now in every architecture. Dito lang po sa loob ng simbahan, we have the cathedra at my back. We have the presider's chair at my back. You are all seated. In your own workplaces, you have your own chair. And a chair would symbolize, for example, kapag may upuan sa simbahan, ibig sabihin, may taong nanunungkulan. Kapag sinabing, ikaw ay nakaupo, ibig sabihin, ikaw ay may responsibilidad. Inuupo po ang tao maliban sa pagboto o pagpili sa kanya ng tao. Naniniwala ako na inuupo ang tao, nasa luklukan ang tao, dahil maliban sa ito ay katungkulan, ito ay regalo at plano ng Diyos. But our readings today would like to supplement that reality. If leadership is a gift, a leadership that is a gift from God, then know how, then know how God wishes you to exercise or act this leadership. St. Peter, in our first reading, would like to remind each and every one of us, tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing it not by constraint, but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly, or shall we say, generously. And Jesus reminded Peter in our gospel, Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. True authority, my dear friends, is expressed in true humility. Leadership being on a throne, leadership being on a throne is not an avenue to be proud. When given a seat, humble charity shall shine. When seated, we also let God do the work with us. Kung iniupo tayo, tatayo din tayo para handa tayo makinig. Tatan, tatayo tayo para handa tayo makisama at makipamuhay at makidamay sa bawat isa. When Jesus handed the keys of the kingdom to Peter, way back, even during the Last Supper, it was his desire for Peter that you have the keys, you are seated, then learn how to strengthen your brothers. 
such is also the invitation for us. When asked to be seated, when leadership is God's gift to you, to us, seat in humility, seat while strengthening each other. My dear friends, let us not take advantage of the seats where God has placed us. Your seat could be your responsibility as a parent. Your seat could be your current position now in your job. Your seat could be your simple life as a student, as a Christian, or wherever you are or whoever you are. But let the seats where we are not make us stubborn. Kundi dahil sa trono, dahil sa ating mga luklukan at upuan, lumaki po ang ating puso at hindi lumaki ang ating ulo. Please stand. God our Father, in your providence, you chose St. Peter as the leader of the apostles and as head of the church. We pray as a community of faith under the successor of Peter trusting in you. For every petition we shall say, Bless your church, O Lord. Bless your church, O Lord that Pope Francis, the successor of Peter, may exercise his authority in the spirit of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless your church, O Lord, that the Pope and the bishops and those in the diplomatic service of the Holy See may become effective agents of unity in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless, Bless your, your church, church, O Lord, Lord that pastors and all lay faithful may be steadfast in their faith and obedient to the magisterium of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless, Bless your, your church, church o, Lord, o Lord, that the sick may find healing in the ministry of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless your, Bless church, your church, O Lord, Lord, that the faithful departed may join the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless, Bless your, your church, church o, o Lord. Lord. We pray in silence for our own intentions as well as the intentions offered in this Mass and the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming and our prayers for each other as we continue this Lenten journey and thank the Lord for the many opportunities of leading each other closer to the Lord. For all of these, we pray. Bless your church, O Lord. Father, help us to become faithful followers of your Son. By our obedience to the See of Peter, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
प्लीज स्टैंड pray my dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church accept with favor o lord we pray the prayers and offerings of your church that with saint peter as her shepherd she may come to an eternal inheritance for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in its integrity through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord the Holy Father almighty and eternal God For you eternal shepherd do not desert your flock but through the, the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your son and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest please kneel You are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins Do this in memory of me please stand the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Peter and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus, our brother, taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who at our celebration of the feast day of the blessed Apostle Peter have nourished us by communion in the body and blood of Christ, grant, we pray, that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Monsignor Oli de la Cruz would like to invite those who would like to witness the concert of the, the, the Tabernacle Chamber Group this coming February, February 25 and 28, one at the Mall of Asia Arena and one at the University of Santo Tomas. We, they, the group allotted... 100 tickets for us and uh, for those who are interested please uh, contact our cathedral office for you to have uh, your tickets uh, for free and uh, as we continue our Lenten journey we thank you for being with us as we observe as well our prayers and our ways of uh, repentance and uh, nakakataba po ng puso na kahit hapon Akala po namin ay walang uh, mga magpapa magkukumpisal at nakakatwaba po ng puso na we really appreciate uh, this great sacrament of reconciliation. And uh, let us uh, uh, make the most out of this season as a season of prayer and as a season as well to turn to the Lord and ask for His mercy and uh, forgiveness. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the, of the holy apostle Peter, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may he 
who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles, make you under their protection, witnesses to the truth before all forever and ever. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostles, you may merit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching, you possess firmness of faith forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has been offered. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God.